Watermelon, with its cool and sweet juice, is a national fruit loved by everyone, regardless of age or gender. However, growing watermelons often requires bending over, which frequently puts strain on the back and knee joints. Farmers are struggling with arthritis and back pain. In response, the Rural Development Administration developed and introduced a vertical cultivation technique for watermelons to farms, allowing workers to guide the stems upward while standing. It is receiving a great response. You don't have to work bent over, so labor intensity is reduced by half. Vertical cultivation technology for medium and small-sized watermelons can double the productivity per unit area. Revealing it now. In conventional watermelon farming, 660 to 770 plants are planted per 1,000 square meters of greenhouse. Allow all watermelon vines to grow along the ground and do not give up. It's a cultivation method where you produce one fruit per vine. The vertical cultivation technology for small and medium watermelon involves planting two to three times more plants than usual, growing one watermelon per row vertically. One stem will grow horizontally on the ground and the other will grow vertically along a trellis to bear fruit. This vertical farming technique can double or triple the yield per unit area. This is expected to be widely adopted in small to medium scale farming. When cultivating small and medium sized watermelons, the choice of variety is just as important as growing them. Weighing between four and five kilograms. Choose varieties that are of high quality, set fruit well, and are highly preferred by consumers. Generally, sowing is calculated in reverse from the day of actual planting. Grafting is done about seven to eight days after sowing the watermelon. When cultivating in spring, based on watermelon sowing, the growing period is approximately 30 to 40 days. We add lime and compost to the soil until it... We apply the base fertilizer according to the soil test results. Manure plays a significant role in improving the quality of the watermelons. So use it as much as possible. In general, mid-sized watermelons are grown in six to seven meter wide greenhouses. Create two rows and plant them 30 to 40 centimeter apart, guiding two stems per plant. It bears fruit one by one. In vertical cultivation, unlike regular flat cultivation, the number of plants per square meter is increased and planted densely. Therefore, create three rows in a six to seven meter wide greenhouse. Space plants 20 cmuddy apart. Guide two stems per plant to bear one fruit per plant. For very planting, it is done when the seedlings have about four to five leaves. Water the ground well a day in advance. Make a holes at regular intervals where you will plant when planting watermelon, do not plant too deep. Splitting disease from buried stems. Plant shallowly if possible to avoid severe damage from diseases like vine wilting. Transplanting is done in the morning or evening or on windless days. When working, plant about 30 to 40 centi inward from the edge of the ridge. The reason is that watermelons are cultivated by guiding the main vine. Raise one stem vertically and secure space for a watermelon support when it grows. One stem is to make space so it can grow in one direction in the remaining workspace. After planting, give the seedlings plenty of water. Stop watering for a week after to allow the roots to go deep. Two weeks after planting, buds start appearing at each node. These side shoots are candidates for the daughter stem that will grow the watermelon. Trim the main stem shoot at this time. 
leave two strong secondary stems and remove all the remaining stems. You... When the secondary stem grows about 80 to 100 centimeters, use a general horticultural plastic net to guide the watermelon stem vertically. Fix it to the greenhouse roof pipe and bring it down to the ground. At this time, guide two watermelon stems and let the one without watermelons grow flat on the ground. The other vine bearing the watermelon is guided vertically to the net using plastic clips. This method involves training one stem in the air, making it difficult to manage if there are many branches. Therefore, it is good to remove all side shoots below the fruit-bearing nodes before the fruit set. After the watermelon grows to the size of a fist, set up a watermelon support and place the watermelon on it. The watermelon stand is basically in the form of a folding fishing chair with the leg height ranging from 70 to 100 centimeter. Securely fix 1.5 to 2 meter house pipes in succession. Insert the round plastic fruit holder into the watermelon support pipe. Place the fruit on top and cultivate. At this time, be careful when placing young fruits on a support as they are easily damaged. The existing vertical farming device, once you install the watermelon cradle, it could only be used permanently in fixed greenhouses. The new vertical cultivation device makes it easy to install and remove watermelon supports, making work easier. It can be used in both stationary and mobile greenhouses, and it has the advantage of being cost effective. A watermelon is a plant with separate male and female flowers on the same vine. The male flowers bloom one or two nodes below the female flowers. They bloom at the same time. For vertical cultivation, pollinate the second or third female flowers. For pollination, artificial pollination is done early in the morning on a clear day or bees are used as pollinators. Remove the watermelon attached to the stems growing above the ground when young. For watermelons growing on vertical stems, once the fruit is set, leave only one fruit and remove all others. During watermelon cultivation, the vigor of the plant during the fruit setting period is closely related to the fruit set rate. If the plant is too vigorous, the fruit set rate drops. The ripeness of the watermelon is determined by the length from the female flower to the tip of the stem on the day of flowering. If the stem length is over 60 centimeters, it's strong. If it is below 30 centimeters, the growth is weak. So a height of 30 to 60 centimeters is suitable. Between 20 and 35 days after fruit setting, watermelon fruits grow rapidly and require special care. The plant grows new leaves and stems because of good photosynthesis. The key is to create conditions that allow carbohydrates to be efficiently transferred and stored in the stem, fruit, and root. And the watermelon fruit is 95% water, so during the fruit growth period, make sure there is sufficient water. Remove unnecessary shoots, leaving 50 to 60 healthy leaves on two stems. Manage it to ensure sufficient space. After fruiting, it's good to manage the temperature difference between day and night to be within 15 degrees Celsius. In spring and autumn, the temperature difference between day and night is large, so it's not easy. The optimal photosynthesis temperature is 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Nighttime temperatures should be managed to be around 16 to 20 degrees Celsius, ideally set to two. Plants in their fruit growing phase require a lot of macronutrients, so top dressing is applied. Fertilize using top dressing or by diluting water fertilizer, as with traditional flat cultivation. Supply it once every one or two weeks. 
During the fruit enlargement period, provide sufficient irrigation, and after the enlargement is complete, there is a ripening period of about 10 to 15 days. During this period, to increase sweetness, minimize the amount of water. The peak season for watermelon is when the accumulated temperature from blooming is around 800 to 1000 degrees Celsius for small varieties. 30 to 37 days after the class, it is best to harvest large fruits between 45 to 50 days. When harvesting, tap the watermelon or observe the clarity of its outer skin. First, it is safe to harvest a few fruits to check the speed, then harvest the rest. Try to perform the harvesting in the morning before the fruit's internal temperature rises. Keeping it in a shaded place before shipping to the market helps maintain its freshness for a longer time. Recently, the demand for small and medium-sized watermelons has increased due to the rise in single-person households. The need for vertical farming technology is increasing. Reduce labor intensity and increase yield per unit area with vertical cultivation technology for small and medium-sized watermelon varieties. Try implementing it in the field now. 